<laughs> my apologies, my lord, for interrupting your time of leisure. But I only want to discuss a few matters with you privately in advance of today's council meeting. <laughs> I often find that the council environment is less than hospitable to the principles of good governance. You are no longer on the council by official decree of the hand of the king. Your son did conspire to keep me from my rightful place in the chamber, as well as affronting my dignity in other well, ways. In my absence, my son was acting hand. But you are the hand now, my lord. But I have not revoked the acting hand's decree. Oh, my lord, I, I must say that I, this is this most surprising to oh, Perhaps me. he had it right. Perhaps in the black cells you truly found your level. Oh, my lord, you, you, you cannot mean that. I, 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 Am I the only one to see through this performance? Is it possible that so many could be so stupid for so long? Huh? There are times when I have trouble believing it myself. And why do you bother? <laughs> so many flowers, my lord. Each wanting to grow the tallest, bloom the brightest. And one by one, sooner or later, they all get plucked. I don't want to be the tallest or the brightest. I only want to remain in the garden until my time comes to return to the dirt. Well, thank you for your poetic candor. But I still don't see why I should let you back on my council. The King's Council, my lord. I could have you return to the dirt this afternoon, if you like. Since the time I convinced the mad King to open his gates to you, I have served the interests of the House of Lannister unfailingly.